Hey guys, Skylar here. So I decided to try to do a quick vlog. I have a couple other ones on my memory card, but I just haven't. Oh Jesus Christ! I just haven't wanted to use them because I don't really like them. But um, basically, it's after Christmas now, and for Christmas my parents basically gave me a month without rent, so that's a bunch of money back in my pocket, and I have already spent it. I ended up buying a new camera lens, which is this beauty right here, the Canon. Um, EF, is this EFS? No, it's just an EF lens, and it's a 50mm with a 1.8 aperture, so way better for when I sit down and do vlogs. As I'm probably going to end up selling my Nikon D5200 so I can get a probably Canon D70, and oh crap, what did I just do? I think I might just change my camera lens, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but with the Canon D70, this will fit on there. And I also did buy an adapter, because I have a at the Canon EOS M3, which is a mirrorless camera, so it only uses the um, the uh, EFM lenses. That's the M is probably for mirrorless. So I had to buy an adapter. And the best part about this adapter is that it has an additional screw-in for a tripod. Actually it has this little thing right here, a little tripod stand. It is all metal, which I'm shocked. Um, but this is a third party. This is from Movo. I bought it on Amazon. It was thirty dollars when I got it. It is forty dollars now, I think. Um, pretty awesome. Love it. Very sturdy. Very light, but it's very sturdy. And then it has the additional tripod hookup, which is really awesome. So use it to get super big lens because the EF and EF S lenses compared to the. Um, EFM lenses, they're tiny. EFM lenses are tiny. So, hopefully I don't make much of noise moving you guys around. Um, but yeah, so this will work with the adapter on here. It will work with the D70 if I buy one of those. Haven't decided yet. Anyways, besides all that stuff, which is yeah, I did buy something else, which is yeah. I ordered some new pillowcases, sheets, and a duvet cover from Brooklinen. Let me like pull the box up here. This thing is big. It is heavy. It weighs like 10 pounds. But it's a handle. So why not? I did um, cut the plastic, the tape, but I haven't opened it yet. Because supposedly these guys have a really nice... Um... Oh, so here's my new laptop case. Hey, I got marble. It's marbleized. Beautiful. I paid 15 bucks on Amazon. It is cheap as heck, but it has a great smooth finish to it. It's not tacky or anything, it's rubber, but plastic, but flexible. Pretty awesome. And then, uh, it's from Novo. <laughs> Novo. Where's the other one? <laughs> Movo. Movo and Novo. I really love weird brand names, apparently. But yeah, I figured, let me maybe open this up here. So I'm gonna do, I'm not making too much noise here. It's, it's over. I never checked what the speaker was with this camera. So, you know, there's that. Uh, I think it's probably like in the back or something, I don't know. But let's open this up and see what we have. My foot's there. Oh. Oh. That's, that's, oh, that's fabric. Oh, that's nice. Like, this is printed on there. But, uh, it's probably a packaging slip, so we'll just put that aside. So, oh, what we got? Hashtag broke linen. What we got here? Please don't leave us slumbering without a word. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm trying to leave off the camera and I'm not sure to be doing that. So, please don't leave us slumbering without a word. We'd love to know if we've helped you sleep a little more soundly. Feel free to Instagram, tweet, Facebook, or email us whatever is on your mind. Oh, that's cool. I actually did tweet them and face. I did tweet them and I did Instagram them. Um, and here's what I got, which is kind of cool, they have a little tag, so let's go see what it'll, if it'll focus or not. Well, so, so you get a corset, a duvet cover, and extra pillowcases. I got a king duvet, because I have a king duvet, and then I did have to get additional pillowcases in king, because, well, I needed more pillowcases. So like, I have queen size pillows, which are 20 by 30. They're, these guys' pillowcases and queen are 20 by 27 and a half, so not enough. However, the one thing that concerns me is I did order extra pillowcases on top of this, so 
I'm assuming there's probably another tag in here somewhere for my additional pillowcases. But let me pull this out real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So I got everything pulled out. I did go through my packaging stuff. <clears throat> my extra pillowcases are in here, they're just not labeled on the tag. Uh, I assume because there's not a space for another set of pillowcases, because you're probably normally not getting six pillowcases in this like I am. But on the back of the bag, they actually have their just their first letter. So I think this is pretty cool. It is a very thin, very thin bag. Um, but it's basically like a little tote bag, so oh, it's still nice. Um, they do have two different sets. They have regular uh, sets where it's just I think 270 um, thread count, and then they have like a 480. But these are so soft. They're, they're very soft. Um, but they are they're 100 cotton too. So they will get softer as you wash them. Um, I didn't want to get the higher thread count because it was like an extra hundred dollars. So I was like, uh, no. But yeah. So what I'm gonna do? So I got um, a window pane duvet cover. So basically, it's like boxes on the sheet. But I'm gonna get stuff on my bed. I also got church virus too. But I'm gonna get stuff on my bed, and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. All right, guys. I am back. Batteries kind of charged but anyways I put my bed together I did get really scared part way through because um, I couldn't find the king pillowcases I ordered because I was like the queen size they were in there I'm just like okay there's two pillowcases here and then I unraveled the duvet and the extra were tucked right in the middle which is like oh thank god anyways here's the final products wow yes I don't know how I can say because it, it is white but let me just kind of bring you over. Here's my mess of stuff. I mean, it's just, um, you can see it just thick like, box shapes on here. It's really soft though. It is so freaking soft. It's ridiculous. Um, I can only imagine what the Lux feels like. These are so nice. Um, I bought the smoke, like solid smoke, which is basically gray, and then the white window pane, which I love. Here's the smoke. And I bought the sheets for it. So the sheets, so the gray sheets against the white looks so nice. Um, it was actually in one of their pictures. And I'm just like, I really like that look, so I bought it. And it's actually pretty, I mean, depending on how you consider affordable, I only paid $200 for the six pillowcases, um, the sheets, and the duvet cover. Had I not bought the extra pillowcases, it would have been less money, but like 170 or so, maybe even 160 because I had to buy kings. So my extra pillowcases were king, they charged like $10 extra for kings. So I got an extra $20 just because I had to get king, which turns out their king pillowcases, well, obviously they're king size. They're, so they're like, they have the flap because my pillow is queen, which is about 30. So I have the flap. My actual pillow is right here. So I have a lot of flap. Um, I did end up trying out the queen, or rather the standard pillowcase, and my pillows do fit, but it's a bit snug. Um, what else? So I'm like adjusting my bed. Yeah. Anyways, they're really soft. I love them. The best part about them is that um, the bedding itself, which I feel this is not very easy to find. The duvet has ties, not just in the top corners, but in the bottom corners. So there's four ties, and most duvets have four strips on them on one side so you can do the tie-ins. So I don't use my clips. I mean, for some people they might want to, because if you look right here, my duvet's here. The end of the duvet's here. Um, which, by the way, this is so crisp, it's not really wrinkled, it's just folded. Um, but yeah, so duvet. <laughs> End of duvet. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I love it. I'm so happy. And this has been a really long vlog for no reason, so I'm gonna edit this and get it up at some point. Um, what I will do though is put Brooklyn's link in the description box below. I'll also link Sleepopolis' video. Um, not video, no, they don't have video. Uh, I will also link Sleepopolis' um, 
review in the description box below so you can take a look at it and see what they're saying it's gonna do. Ooh, sorry, it's like really close. Is it focus right there? But yeah, so yeah, I'm just really happy. I love it. Um, yeah, I just, yeah. <laughs> I'm just so happy they're so soft. Um, I may end up trying their Lux. Like, I may all buy like their duvet cover and then like it feels to go with it and just try it that way. But I'm really weary of things over 300 thread count because it's like, ugh. this is Egyptian cotton. So it's gonna get softer. Cause the thread count has to do with like how many like, I guess it's like how many like little threads or something it has across or something like that. I don't really know. Top stitching or whatever. But yeah, I'm so happy and I'm gonna go and uh, I love you. All like two follows that I have. And I'm also looking at the screen instead of doing here. I'm so sorry. Alright, see ya. Bye.